Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the Fantasy Match Preview for the game between Gujarat and Mumbai. Now on one hand, there's one team that is coming out of 4 out of 5 wins, while on the other hand, there's a team that has just won one game in this tournament. So, should be an interesting one. Apart from that, we'll also see the fan to play leaderboard which is almost ending now. So, you better make 25 teams and seize the advantage that you already have. And in case you don't have that advantage, still go and make those teams because you can also win the Grand League along with all the cash prizes with the mega winners going all the way to Australia to watch the T20 World Cup Finals. And yes, I'll announce the final leaderboard that is going to come up the fourth phase on this weekend too, so stay tuned. So we have a very special guest with us today, Nikhil Popart, Crick Crazy Nicks, like you all know him. How are you doing? How are the games going for you? Ah, it's been like power play for RCB. One day up, other day down. <laughs> I'm not too sure what to do, but uh, yeah, as long as multiple teams are helping, so hopefully we'll continue down that route only. And uh, do you see uh, Chennai still making it to the knockouts or it's knockout already? I don't think they've played good enough cricket for a long time. And there are hmm. teams who are doing that consistently. So, it's okay. You can have an off year. Try again next year. True, true that. So, I think we have a preview to where one team has lost their last game but won the previous four before that. And the other team who's lost the previous four but won the last one. So, yeah. should be an interesting one. Yes. Uh, former side uh, former side game this. Lots of interesting options. Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's get to the team then. So, I think first from the keeping, I think I am surely taking Kishan in this game. Who do you feel makes the team for you? Yeah, Kishan for me too. Uh, Saha, probably if they are chasing, uh, because I feel then he's more cal calculative and uh, doesn't have to really go after Boomerah. Mm. But if, if while bowling first, maybe Boomerah, Meredith, or uh, even if they start with uh, a spin option, then uh, Saha may be a bit tricky. So, and I think he strikes at only about 80 odd against Bumrah. So, I think Bumrah no. has the upper hand over him anyway. No. Apart from that, in the batting, I think Surya and Gil pick themselves. Who do? Who else do you see getting picked in your team? Uh, I think Rohit also picks himself, obviously the captain. Mm. And uh, Brebon, uh, more likely to be batting conditions. And right. the, the thing is, he's just one spinner now for... Uh, uh, Rohit to contend with mm -hmm. and that's Rashid, he'll come very late. So, hopefully he can get himself in versus Shami, Loki and uh, even if the Yes, they are or whoever sang one place, then, then he can get a good score. Uh, I'll be very tempted to take one of David Miller or Tim David, mm -hmm. whoever, whoever bats first. Bats so, first. say for now, if for now, if Gujarat are batting first, I'll go with Miller. Miller. But if, mm -hmm. uh, if Mumbai bat first, then I will likely to tempt it with Tim David. And how do you see the matchup between Shami and Rohit panning out? Because he's dismissed him twice, but I think the strike rate is decent too. So how do you see that playing out at the ball? Yeah, I think he'll he'll be circumspect to start with uh, Rohit. Uh, but if it's there to hit, he'll not back away. And I hope yeah. that is the way he plays because women need him to score big up top. Makes sense. Okay, then we have the all-rounders, so I think the X-Man is going to come in here, Hardik Pandya. Any other choice or maybe any thoughts on Hardik? Uh, no, definitely Hardik comes in. Very risky to actually make him captain or vice-captain now that he's not bowling. Mm. Uh, looks far different as a as a batter also after his comeback to the side. But uh, hopefully, uh, I mean, nobody knows more about Hardik than Mumbai. So, you'll feel that Mumbai should be able to keep him uh, quiet. Uh, a few interesting options if they play, that is Sai Kishan mm. if he plays. I'm just, I'm not sure why is he not playing yet. Why is he not playing? And, uh, yeah. and, and Rithik Shokin is also a good, a good, uh, good option really to try out for Mumbai. Uh, <clears throat> because you have Gil and Zaha not quite express against mm. off spin. And you have a Sai Kishan and you have a Miller to follow. So, uh, Riti did bowl well to right hand as well so far in whatever is whatever little we've seen of him. So uh, again, very good grand league option or mini grand league option for sure. But for small league, probably just Haradit. Makes sense. And uh, in the bowlers, I think Rashid and Shami again pick themselves based on their numbers and matchups. Who else from this team along with Bumrah? Uh, yes, as you rightly said, Rashid and Shami may pick themselves. Uh, 
Gujarat will want more wickets from Rashid. Uh, yeah. He's not he's not had that great game one that he has usually in the tournament where he picks three four. So hopefully that game is around for him soon. And uh, because his batting so that has compensated a bit for his bowling. But if take wickets, it becomes even more important for someone like a Rashid to take because in the middle of us that is where Gujarat look like to be in trouble. So uh, I'll still back Rocky because his big game is due. He has four bad games before he turns up and takes four again. So uh, uh, I'll, if if Gujarat are bowling first, I'll be likely to take Rocky Ferguson. Uh, but again, it depends on the pitch and if you feel that no, there is a left arm option that you want to try, but then that will be too left field. So I think Rocky will be still more safe. <laughs> Makes sense. And uh, who would be your last pick after after Bumrah? Who would be your final Mumbai bowler or all rounder? Who do you see making it? Uh, uh, slightly confused between Karthik and uh, Meredith. Uh, I hmm. think Karthik uh, Karthik started really well. Uh, very good option, bowled very well, and uh, I hope he he gets good wickets, continue to take wickets, but might be too tricky. And uh, Meredith, if Gujarat lose Hardik and Gill early. Then Meredith can really have a lot of fun uh, with that, um, with a lot of with his pace. But that pace can also travel. So uh, that's a tricky call that we can take based on the conditions. If it's slightly yeah. dry, I think I'll go with Karthik. But if not, then I'll stick with Meredith. Meredith makes sense. And uh, you discussed something about people trying to play out bowlers. I see that with Rashid. I see that with Bumrah. So do you feel like in such a game also we will see the big bowlers just being played out, giving you economic points, and then. You will see the rest coming and taking the wickets. Do you see that happening again? Uh, yeah, it is possible. But the given how the trend is, the day you drop both Rashid and Mumbra, they'll <laughs> both take three, four wickets. So uh, I'll definitely have them in my main team. Uh, but in the mini gels, you can probably. But then you have to play very really smartly. If you're dropping Mumbra, mm-hmm. then you have to take at least two to three Mumbai bowlers who you feel will take who'll his spread wickets. wickets. Yeah, uh, who'll, mm-hmm. who'll spread the wickets because it's not happened that one guy is only taking wickets. Uh, no, everybody is not Shardul Thakur to take the, <laughs> to be the only wicket taker for their side. True, true that. And uh, do you see someone like like you clearly mentioned that Hardik would know everything about Mumbai? On the same end, do you see that Mumbai if they contain him below twenty runs, or do you see such a scenario where you can drop him because he's not bowling again? Oh, definitely, uh, but uh, Hardik is someone who's I I need a bit more extra motivated to come good against Mumbai, uh, so maybe that could work on him. But again, it's it's an abstract thing, uh, not something that people can quantify. So if you feel that he'll not work out, uh, definitely he hasn't looked at his best. I don't mm. even think he's hundred percent fit to be very honest. So uh, if they can keep Hardik or challenge Gujarat. And now I'm very keen to see who new hero that steps up for Gujarat. Then, if Hardik doesn't perform, true, true that. And uh, who do you see as captain and vice captain for you? Then finally in the team, uh, I don't think there are many safe choices here. Uh, given that Bumrah are being played out, so they they don't give you enough points. So uh, I think it's from the batting section only. So yeah, it's a safe choice, uh, especially while batting first, and then. Uh, you have Hardik as an option from Gujarat. You can go with Gill as well, but again, Gill hasn't looked that fluent. So, very very tricky calls. But uh, that's how the tournament has been now. And uh, do you see a first innings death bowler ripping through a team again? But because this time we are seeing the trend reverse, that people in the second innings are actually coming and taking the wickets at the death more than the first. <laughs> Yeah, and again the teams are playing very weirdly. Like Tikshin are not starting to somebody like a Faf and Virat uh, being held back for DK, but he doesn't get DK out, but he takes three wickets. So you you can't predict those things, and uh, which is why multiple teams are a must uh, because teams are trying out new things. So we have to move with them as well. So yeah, I'll try both those options. That first innings that bowler wickets taking wickets, and even the same case is in, is in uh, second innings, which is why I had Lucky in my side. Because he could do it both in first or second, innings, innings, or, not yeah. it, or not do it in any of them also. So yeah, true, true that. And uh, finally, who do you see as your challenge picks in this game? Uh, I think the two suggestions that we had for common ones that was uh, Surya and Hardik. So I think they both of them will be there, and the third could be between Miller or Tim David or Karthik mm. 
or merit it depending on the conditions and whoever was bowling first so going with the x factor clearly for the third pick <laughs> yeah because that's it it's been the trend like right? even even in the rcb game you saw ba- lomroor coming good really well and uh, it's what has happened with most of the sides sai sudarshan played well the last time gujarat played so these lesser known players are mm. stepping up so why not back them and get something out of them true very true apart from that uh, i hope you've already joined the giveaway yes. and uh, if you have in the code is f u n f r i go join right now and uh, you can join us all on telegram for your final team second innings updates and lots more and uh, do keep in mind if you have any questions feel free to throw them to us on twitter any closing thoughts from you nikhil uh nothing much just make multiple teams because single team is not doing anything <laughs> so uh back your visualization but be ready to take a few risks as well so i think that's the order especially at the last phase of this tournament so i think yep. we must go over that and all the good luck to you yes good luck to you guys too happy winnings <laughs>